I'm out and about on one of the London Loop walks, from Riddlesden to Kenley Common. Just half an hour on the train from London Bridge has brought me here to Riddlesdown Station, and now it's just a 10 minute walk that way to Riddlesdown itself. Be warned, it's hilly. Even in the sleepy back streets of Riddlesdown, it can be steep, but once you get up onto the hill, it's worth it. This is a walker's paradise, and if you're into wildlife, you've hit the jackpot, as it's teeming with rarities. The hillside chalk bedrock creates soil that supports an unusual community of flowers and grasses. Chalk is very special because it's characteristic of having a wide variety of flowering plants and also of insects which uh, depend upon those um, flowers. This path we're actually walking along here, I mean, is there anything special about it? Because it's, I mean, it's dead straight. We believe that this is the course of a Roman road. Um, there hasn't been, hasn't been excavated to prove that, but we're almost certain that this is the course of a Roman road. Well, I particularly like the fact that the views are fantastic. You can see for miles. And it's a fantastic open space. You see loads of different wildlife. My walk continues now towards Kenley Common. It has 56 hectares of green open space that surrounds a former Battle of Britain airfield, which I'm now heading towards. Once you get to Kenley Airfield, you're very welcome to walk around the outsides, but do not cross the yellow line because it is a working runway. It's been an airfield since the First World War, and the site became headquarters for B Squadron of number 11 group of fighter stations, which soon played a key role in the Battle of Britain. This is a, obviously a wonderful historic site, but what can walkers get from this today? It is a fabulous place to come for a picnic, to walk. Um, it is still, of course, still an active airfield, but that is just gliders these days. Mike, tell me, how did the memorial come into being? It commemorates not only the people that served here during the Battle of Britain, but it commemorates the people that served here right from 1917 until 1959, when the airfield finally closed from an operational standpoint. Well, this is it. My journey's end, and weather permitting, where I hope to finish off my walk with a bit of star spotting. Why is the observatory here at Kenley? Because we are nice and high up, we're very close to Kenley Aerodrome, and of course we have a little light pollution as well. And what kind of things can people see? You can see Saturn, Jupiter, uh, the Moon, Venus, and many other astronomical objects. Would you like to have a look? I would love to. That is going to be the end of my walk for today, but if you'd like some more details about my journey, then please have a look at the website. A little bit overcast, 